for today's class, we will be producing a pentagon and also an involute on a pentagon of side 30 mm. All right, so the very first thing is to produce the pentagon. And to produce the pentagon, my very first procedure is to produce an horizontal line in this manner. All right, after producing the horizontal line, with my compass, with my compass, I'm going to measure the mark of 30 because the side of our pentagon is side with side 30. Okay, that is 30. From this area, I strike it. Then I also would, uh, strike it there. So this is my what A and this is my what B. All right. Okay, so for this pentagon, I'm going to be using what a square method, a square method. All right, so the very next thing is to produce a square. So from mark A, I produce a vertical line. From mark B, I produce what a vertical line in that manner. All right. So doing that with my compass, I pick my length AB all together again, which is this. Then with length AB, I strike an arc at the top right here. With the same length AB from point B, I strike an arc right here also. Okay. Doing that. Okay. So with that same mark, having it that way, I'm going to join this point all together. Now I have my what? I have my square. Okay. So what's the next procedure? The next procedure is to bisect point AB. So I'm going to divide AB into three equals through what? Through bisection. This mark here. This mark here. Okay. So then I'm going to what? Join the bisectors all together in that manner all right so i don't need this line here likewise i don't need this line here so what's the next procedure to do now the next procedure is to pick my ruler and join any of the diagonals okay so in this manner i join it so this mark here is my mark what that's my mark four that's my mark four all right so with length a b yeah with length a b in this manner, I'm going to produce this line right here. Then from point B also, I'm going to produce the same uh, thing. So wherever they intersect on the vertical line here, that's point one, that's like mark six, all right? But we are drawing a pentagon, which is what mark five. So I'm going to bisect a distance between mark four and mark six, all right? With my compass, I bisect. Okay, so having bisected this, so this junction is my what is my mark five. So with my compass, okay, so with my compass at point five to either point A or point B, extend it to either point A or point B, draw a circle, as you can see in that manner. All right, so after producing that circle, the circle on its way out is going to what touch point B and what and point A. Then the next procedure is pick your compass and pick length AB. All right, pick length AB. So with length AB, I produce an arc right here, all right? From mark B with length AB, I produce an arc right here. Then from right here also, I would, I produce another arc as it is. So I have my what? I have my pentagon. So from this junction to this area, all right? So from where my arc touches the circle here to this area, from this mark, down here length a b is one of the side i join then length a from point a to this junction i also what i also join so that is production of the pentagon of side 30 a all right you can actually measure each of the side to confirm it all right so as you can see now this mark from here to here is what you can see it's what it's 30. okay so to produce the involutes on this pentagon i will take this as mark one mark zero right here mark one right here mark two mark theory mark four and zero over five all right so i'm going to draw line tangential yeah to each of the sides okay so this is my mark zero so for mark one i'm going to extend this line outwards extending it outwards i'm going to think length of what a b strike an arc on this line once okay so i'm going to asterisk that position 
So for mark two, yeah, I'm going to draw a line agency in this manner out here. So I'm going to pick my compass from mark two with length AB, which is 30. One, two. So I strike it with twice on the mark two. So on mark three, I'm drawing a line tangential to mark three also, extending it very well. So from mark three with the length AB, which is 30. One, two, and theory all right so that's it so on mark four on mark four so i'm producing the line in this manner for mark four all right so with the same length ab which is 30 from mark four one two theory and what and four all right so that is it right there okay so for mark five that is going to be this very line here so i'm going to extend it very well then i'm going to mark it out five times one two three four and five as it is so this is the mark five right here so having done that, the next procedure is to pick my French curve and what and join the points all together to produce my to produce my involute. Okay, so that is the shape of the involute of a pentagon. So kindly ensure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.